Even as the Tory party slices policies off its mini-budget, a few miles away on the other side of town, work continues as normal. Here at Birmingham Casemakers, they're hand-making display boxes for medals and honours. It's a hidden part of the British establishment. So what did they make of today's antics? I think it's a little, it's a little like a roller coaster. Uh, it would be nice to have consistency, nice to have fluency. It would, nice, it would be nice to be able to plan. Uh, we, we seem to have lots of new things that are being thrown against the wall without a lot of thought behind them. Um, and certainly, if you dig a little deeper, it, it's almost fa packet planning. Um, and the last thing we need at the moment with what is going on globally is fa packet planning. But there's a deeper question. Markets have been volatile ever since the Chancellor's mini-budget. Will the government's change of mind on the 45p tax rate finally turn their pessimism into bullishness, optimism? What is it that makes markets bullish? It's tempting to think it's all about rationality, but in reality, it's other things. It's emotions, it's fear, it's greed, it's confidence, it's credibility, it's vibes. It's not entirely clear, actually, what single measure markets were so revolted by when it came to this mini-budget. And by the same token, it's not clear which measure the government could U-turn on to change their minds. And there was some precious good news for the Chancellor today. After that news emerged, the pound strengthened against the dollar, hitting the highest level since his mini-budget. Liz Truss's economic advisers worry that this is the beginning of a bigger climb-down. I don't think it's a game-changer. It's not that important for the economy or that bigger part of the, the mini-budget. Um, but what it might do is actually increase uncertainty in, in some ways. Um, if you're a, a believer in, in, in trustonomics, as, as I am, you might be worried that this would embolden the critics of the policy, uh, not just um, outside the Conservative Party, but also within it. In the end, much of this comes back to something far too difficult to quantify, credibility. If the government has lost the faith of markets, even a U-turn of this scale may not be enough to convince them to change their mind about the UK economy. Ed Conway, Sky News in Birmingham.